Are you ready to take your business to the next level and expand your horizons overseas? Look no further than the Nomad Entrepreneur. Join me, Hossam Afifi, as I guide through the exciting world of international business and show you how to take your business from local to global. Let's begin with a short story about IKEA. When IKEA decided to expand into China, it conducted extensive market research and carefully assessed the potential financial risks. IKEA also sought out funding opportunities such as grants and loans from the government to help support its expansion. Additionally, the company also set up joint ventures with local partners to share the financial burden and mitigate risks. As a result of this careful planning and risk management, IKEA has been able to establish a successful presence in the Chinese market. There are some lessons in this story to learn about, and before you pack your bags and set off on your international adventure, it is important to be prepared. That's why in this episode, I will be diving deep into the crucial steps you need to take to ensure success from researching the market and understanding local culture laws regulations and financial planning to building strong relationships with local partners and stakeholders let's dive in One key aspect is market research. Take the time to get to know your target audience, their needs and preferences, and how you can differentiate your business in the market. I personally devoted four months to studying Georgian market prior to launching my first venture in the hospitality sector. That was in 2017. Another important factor to consider is financial planning. Expanding a business overseas can be a significant investment, so it's important to have a clear understanding of your budget and any potential financial risks. It is also a good idea to seek out any potential funding opportunities, such as grants or loan, to help support your expansion. Cultural differences are also an important factor to keep in mind. This includes understanding local customs and business practices and being open to new ways of doing things. Building strong relationships with local partners and stakeholders can be key to success. So make an effort to get to know your counterparts and learn about their business culture. For example, in Asian culture, we have the concept of face that refers to the reputation and dignity of an individual or a company, and it is an important consideration in many Asian cultures. In business negotiations, it's important to be mindful of the way in which one's actions that may affect the face of the other party. For example, it may be seen as disrespectful to publicly criticize or confront someone in front of others, as it could damage their reputation or dignity. This is in contrast to business practices in some Western cultures where it is more common to be direct and straightforward in communication and problem solving. A business that is unaware of these cultural differences could potentially cause offense or damage relationships with their Asian partners or clients. So after all, it is not just about the business side of things, it is also about the personal side of things. Expanding your business overseas can be an exciting and rewarding experience, but it can also come with its own set of challenges. Make sure to have a support system in place and be prepared for any potential homesickness or cultural shock. 
One thing that many people may not know about doing business overseas is that it can be challenging to navigate different cultural norms and business practices. For example, what is considered acceptable or appropriate in one country may be quite different in another. It is important for businesses to do their research and try to understand the local culture and customs in order to avoid any misunderstanding or miscommunications. Additionally, it can be helpful to work with local partners or hire local employees who are familiar with the business landscape in the country where the company is operating. This can make it easier to navigate any cultural differences and ensure that the business is able to operate effectively in the new location. Don't miss out on this valuable information and join our community of entrepreneurs and business professionals professionals by subscribing to this channel. I put out fresh videos on Monday and Thursday at 14 GMT. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below and I will do my best to answer any of your questions. And for expert guidance, Head over to our website nomadentrepreneur.io and book a call with one of our top-notch consultants today, including me.